morning, everybody. My name is Darlene, and I have Parkinson's. Today has been a very strange day. I have only had about an hour and a half out of the entire day. It's now 4.30. I've only had about an hour and a half where I had any decent movement in my hands or my feet. Uh, and that time was between 6 and 7.30 in the morning while I was still in bed, which wasn't uh, grand for the fact that we had to get up and go to the um, CAS clinic and get an x-ray on my hip and my wrist, but all went well. They've healed up great. Claudia managed to get me in and out of the car and we're home and, and Bill has then gone to the lab and had blood drawn and had um, his x-rays that he needs for his appointment tomorrow. So everybody's doing great and uh, uh, let's see, Claudine put in a chicken pot pie that we bought from Costco. She put that in the oven and that's what we're having for dinner. So that's just cooking. Bill's having a little lie down right now. So I thought, well, I'll come talk to my friends for a wee bit. Um, I can't do much to help around here, but <laughs> what I did do, I'm going to redo, I think. But anyway, I this is typical for me, like do, and then if you're not happy, you do redo. But anyway, um, I told you I had got my bedroom all finished. Well, I only had a couple little things to do to finish it up, and I got it finished up today. And I looked at it, and I'm just not happy. It's not quite right. There was not very many things to change, but it's not quite right. So I ran it by Bill. He said, whatever. He said, if you want to do it, do it. But it's, it's a little bit more. It's not a lot of things to do. It's just a few things to shuffle. But on a day where I'm not moving, it's not going to happen today. So hopefully I have a great day tomorrow, and then I can get it done. And I ordered, I haven't got them yet. I don't think they come tomorrow. They might come Wednesday. But um, I ordered some dresser pulls, you know, like the handles that you uh, can pull the drawers in and out because right now you you kind of put your fingers up underneath the drawer and try to bring it forward and I can't seem to get my fingers in there enough to pull forward so I thought if I had handles it would be better so we bought this from Amazon it came with 12 handles so I put two on I have four drawers I'll put two on each one and I'll have four handles left so if we find another piece of furniture that needs a handle in the middle we can do four drawers or if it's got two drawers and we need it we can put two on each drawer so we have extras for that. They're just plain black little metal pulls. And I uh, got them for a very reasonable price. So I've got those lined up for as soon as my son brings a drill over. He doesn't know that he has to bring a drill over. I haven't even talked to him yet. But if he has a drill, he can drill the holes and then we can screw these things in. So we got that going on. And then I'll see whether I decide to change the room back around tomorrow or not. We'll see. Um, tomorrow I have the occupation. I wanted to have it done because the actual occupational therapist is coming to look at the shower and talk about a wheelchair and, and whatnot. So I kind of wanted the room to be finished where I wanted it to be. So I could sort of say, well, this is how we're doing it. And then if there's anything we can have for grab bars or whatever, she would know where I would need them because I had it all placed out. And pretty much everything is placed where it needs to be. I just have a few little tweaks to do, so... If I do that in the morning, then it'll be all said and done in time for her. Um, what else did I do? I think that was about all I did because when Bill was gone, I was trying to be very careful that I didn't, you know, fall or did something where I was here by myself. So I was just being very careful and made a few phone calls and watched a few videos and, you know, had a good time. So anyway, I'm going to, I have right now, I have made, Claudine made me a dark coffee in my Keurig and then we put a truffles hot chocolate mix in it so I kind of have a mocha going on here and today I ordered from um, Amazon these sugar-free Torani syrups it's they're harder to find the sugar-free ones and, and I don't care if it's sugar-free or regular but the sugar-free is a bit better um, for me so I thought to myself well I'm gonna see if I can't find them online and they had Torani and they had another company's name and the other company was about four dollars cheaper a bottle but I've never tried them so I've, I've tried the Torani and I know I like them so what I did was I wanted four different flavors so I took three of the Torani and one of the other one so that I can compare how the other one does and what did I get I got in Torani I got I think butter pecan um, I think the off-brand I got vanilla bean and then I got a mocha, and I got another one. I can't remember what it was, but it was something, oh, English toffee, I think. But anyway, so I've got these syrups, and I have not been drinking a regular hot coffee very often. 
So I thought to myself, if I'm not drinking the hot coffee very often, I have been having an iced coffee um, every time we go through Tim Hortons with Claudine. And I thought, well, that gets expensive when you're driving through the Tim Hortons to get it. I'll buy the Tarani syrup and I'll just make a cold brew coffee. So I've got these dark coffee pods and what I'll do is I'll make one, put it in the fridge overnight and in the morning I'll just put some ice cubes and, and the... Um, that's very strange. I see through the window a shadow and then I realize it's just the curtains blowing on the... Um, I thought it was the dog looking in the window as if to say, can I come in? But the dog is in the house already, I think. Anyway, um, so I'll just put a little of the Tarani syrup and a little bit of coffee cream and I'll make my own iced coffee and I think it's going to be absolutely delicious, but we'll hold judgment until I've tried one and when I've tried one I'll show you how, how I'm making it and I'll show you what I got. And it was the $7.99 I think for a bottle of the off brand and I think it was $12.99 Canadian for the other brand, but those will last for a long time and I don't use coffee creamer. I, most people would make it just with co flavored coffee creamer. But I don't use the coffee creamer because they're so full of sugar and I don't like the taste of sugar in my coffee. I drink it black all the time. So for me, the sugar-free is much better because I sort of have the black coffee with still the flavoring. So that's kind of how I'm viewing it anyway. All right, well, I've nattered on for a little bit. I will probably come back and finish this up and tell you how good this pie is. I know it's going to be good. I love Costco's chicken pot pie. I wish they had a beef pot pie. You know, I've never tried beef pot pie. And I would say, well, I'll try making it, but we know that I can't do that anymore. So there's no point in kidding myself. I will just say I'll enjoy the chicken pot pie that we get at Costco. All right, I'm going to let you go, and I will come back and chat with you later, or else I'll say goodnight, one of the two. All right, bye-bye for now. Hello, I'm back, everybody. As you can see, still not moving. It's been a very bad day for not moving. Um, so I guess... What time is it now? It is 7.18. We had a lovely supper. The Costco chicken pot pie is very good. So we had chicken pot pie. I now have a snack. Bill has given me some sour cream and salsa mixed together and some chips. So that's beside me. Not exactly sure how these hands are going to dip them, but hopefully I get a little movement later on. And uh, so I'm going to have a little snack. I'm going to watch a couple videos. And then I will maybe watch a television show or something. We don't have TV, but we stream different shows. So I'm currently thinking of restarting the series of Frankie and Grace. And I I think I saw three seasons of it. So I thought I'd just start at the beginning and go through it again. But I'm not sure if I'll do that tonight or not. We'll see. Um, Claudine's out playing cards with her friends uh, out in the garage, which... I laughed. They've got a nice heater out there. She's got it set up so nice and everything else and gives us privacy, gives her privacy. And she gets to play cards with her friends. It's really nice. Anyway, um, I guess I'll let everybody go for tonight. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. And hope you have a very good day. And I hope we all sleep tonight. Okay, good night.